Alright, A-O. Let's go. <laughs> what is up, everyone? Rich Rampage here. Riz Dude. This is a Never Enough Toys podcast. Carcast. Carcast. We're uh, on our way to a uh, toy show. And it is pissing. It is, like, kind of storming pretty bad. So, yeah. so. so if you hear the clickety-clack-clack, tappity-tap-tap of the raindrops all over the car, that's what that is in the background if you even hear it. Yeah. We'll try to keep it close to the uh, speaker so you don't hear all that. And yeah, the audio might not be so great only because we couldn't really get together for a true blue podcast, but yeah. at least uh, we can still talk about stuff. Hell yeah. What the fuck's up, bro? How you been? Dude, I haven't seen you in like three weeks. I know. We we uh, we bypassed most of September. September was really tough. Yeah, man. Just uh, working and all that good stuff. Yeah. I just uh, got more overtime. So 12 hours a day, here I come. Yeah, there you go. But the holidays are coming, so we all need that extra dough. Hell yeah, yeah. Although, there's a couple of things I want to talk about, but... What's yeah. up, dude? What's going on? Lots, uh, lots of toys in the news. Oh my god, I mean... You gonna yeah. go get your, uh, your Ghost Rider car? <laughs> Hazlab. Hazlab. Oh my god, we could talk about that for a minute. I, I mean, I was always a no. I don't do the Haslab. I don't do them either. I almost did Galactus last year, but I realized, what the hell am I going to do with that thing? It's so big. Yeah, I figured, though, the Galactus was more of a, a much better sell than than this uh, Ghost Rider. What is it? Uh, Robbie, Robbie Reyes. Reyes. Robbie Reyes. Engine of Vengeance. And the car. Um, 350 bucks. Steep tag. 9,000 9, backers needed to get it made. Yeah, yeah, needed to just just get it made, and then 12k to get to Mephisto. Right. Which so I just recently saw a picture of it next to the, and it's not even that much bigger. Yeah, like he's only like a maybe, head taller, maybe. Yeah, maybe an inch. Um, and that didn't go too well for the first couple of days, and so they were like, oh, uh, "How about this? We'll we'll give you a we'll give you another figure." And like, but still, you asked asking 350 for a figure in a car. They blew the early bird too. Yep. The early bird failed. Nobody did it. Yep. Uh, and then they people got mad and they canceled their pre-orders because they figured the value is, is now even lower. Yeah, absolutely. Because you would think, all right, well, I'm going to back this. And, now, you know, depending upon that, if everybody backs it, we're going to get it. And I can't wait to see what other stuff I'm going to be able to get. And then they put it up and like, oh, okay, well, this is going to get another figure. And then when it didn't pass because they wanted it done by the end of the month or something. The week. Uh, end of the week. And it didn't yet happen. So they just took it away. And they were just like, no, we're not doing it. And yep. they were just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I not getting another figure? Yep. That's the, uh, what we already should, should, it shouldn't be included in the, in this price here that there will be more added to make it worth the money that it is. But here you are being like, no, this is a 200, 350 item. That's the car in the figure. It's like, no, no way is that. Yeah. Is this act compute to me? So, so then after all was said and done, the only difference between the early bird figure and the, the main line figure was the head sculpt. And the and the pants. He has gray pants in the in the early bird figure. So the early bird figure is out of the question. And the hood too, right? Yes. So then people were pissed. And Hasbro came back and said, Hey, listen, we heard you. We lost a whole bunch of backers. We'll give you the head and the hood. No, yeah, that's not even uh, yeah, we heard you. You should you don't you don't hear them complaining about the price? You hear them complaining about the figure yeah. and a porous attempt to try to get backers. Yeah. But you don't hear them about, you know, trying to make what you're making worth it. And I understand that when when it comes to those backing systems like when uh, the other projects they have done, like especially with G.I. Joe, pretty much they had that his tank. Iconic. And and yeah, you're you're putting that out to a starving uh, a starving yes. uh, yeah, fandom. Yeah. So, yeah, that I get why that. But like you know, think of Star Wars with the Rancor. That didn't make it. Yeah. So that was womp. Wasn't there a uh, Ghostbusters? The uh, uh, proton pack, I think. No, right? no, that 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 happened. That was that's a go. They got everything for that. Oh time. yeah. <clears throat> no, it was. I think it was an Ecto One. Maybe it was. Uh, maybe that was Maddie Collector. That My, didn't get funded. It didn't happen. Yeah, no, it didn't get funded. And then they had the remember the Cookie Monster. Yeah, real life. 
you know, Cookie Monster, that didn't happen. Yeah. So, but then Galactus totally did. And Sent- Sentinel? Sentinel, yeah. Sentinel, that happened. But Sentinel makes sense because that's an army builder. So you can you can buy a whole bunch. You right. have one with, with the regular Sentinel head and another with the Master Galactus. Mold. And Galactus made sense because you made him the way that he should have been made always. Not to mention you do How many figures? Five? Oh, my God. So Five there was not, uh, three, three major and then... Two face plates and an extra head. Right, the Doctor Doom head, which is cool. Yeah. So if you did get two of those, you could have, you know, you you could have four display options. I also don't understand face plates. I also don't understand why they made a newer character with this Ghost Rider. Like, why didn't well, why didn't you go with a classic? Why that's the miss, Johnny. Please, that's like, the miss. It makes sense. But well, I guess even you know, these Cash. companies they they make mistakes. It's the same thing with. The WWE retro line, they should not have made current superstars in that line. It doesn't make sense. Like a Braun Strowman and Seth yeah. Rollins in the old school Hasbro look. Along, so, with, so, along with classic superstars. You know, so it's, it didn't make sense. Yeah. Which is why it fit. But now right now they're coming back different in full force. Well, the the retros they're making those box are, sets. They're making box sets, and they're they're pretty much um, those are Mattel Creations exclusives. Did you get your Heart Foundation? <laughs> I sure did. Oh, I got two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wish, I wish, I wish they had the rights to do Owen Hart. Yeah, I mean, Owen Hart would be such a better replacement to both of. Yeah, that's true. But what are you gonna do? Uh, you can get your chance to get your ringside exclusive Owen Hart from a, from Jazzwares. Yes, so I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna get. I think I'm probably gonna get him. Yeah, I mean it's it looks pretty good. I mean, uh, Jazzwares has a tendency of making the faces a little chubby. Yeah, I didn't get the uh, the new Christian because uh, he looks like a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> his his body kind of looks like he's got a big beer belly, kind of. It yeah. looks like, but. Yeah, I passed on them. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a weird scaling thing that they do. But I did see somebody get, I don't know how they got it or where the picture came from, but it's the new Adam Cole. Okay. And he looks fucking great. I really? Can't, yeah, I can't wow. wait to get him. I ended up finding the CM Punk Walmart exclusive. Ooh, nice. So, and being that he uh, he's probably done with the company, he's probably going to be his first and last. For, oh, well, well actually, one, yeah, there's, there's second. that one. And I think there's a chase, and then, or unless the Walmart one is the chase, and okay. there's one that's going to show up in Targets. Nice. Um, but I haven't seen him in Target yet. I've seen part of the other wave, but not him. Yeah. But that's cool. Found them and found that. I found all those the new superstars. Yeah, Taker, the WWE superstar, Taker, uh, Warrior, Mankind, Papa Shango, Million Dollar Man. You were telling me about that Ultimate Warrior. Oh my God! Please tell them about oh, it. Oh, you got to see the back of the jacket. Is so nice. It's got like this comic. I think it's his face from the from the cover of a comic book. Yes, the, uh, the Ultimate Warrior WWF comic books. I think it's Marvel number one or something like that. And I don't know what kind of material the jacket is, but yeah, it might be. What you say was number one? Yeah, yeah it's like Ultimate Warrior number one. Yeah, and it's it's so it's printed on there so nicely. Um, and you know what I noticed? It's like the their prices are kind of it's it, they're twenty dollar figures, so it's the same price as oh, the interesting. Week. But you you got to look at what com- I mean. They all come with the extra hands. Okay. And their gear. You got like soft goods. You got like the Undertaker movable hat, movable tie, movable jacket. The jacket is kind of like that windbreaker material, like the swishy swishy yep. sweatsuits we used to wear when we were kids. The- oh yeah. <laughs> That's like the type of material his jacket is. That is that kind of like what the old like superpowers like capes were made of almost? I'm not familiar, so I couldn't. Yeah, confirm nor deny. I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, uh, but like Adidas, almost like like that type of material. Yeah, 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 like a running, like a running suit. Yeah. Um, the million dollar man, full you know jacket, pants, which is all removable, comes with the extra hands, and he actually comes with a little. Like money, little money to put oh, in his hand. Nice. So that's like an awesome bonus. That's like, a cool I don't bonus. Think we've never gotten like money. I don't think we've gotten money props. Um, and then Papa Shango's got the necklace, the hat, the big beautiful cape. 
it's they're they're awesome figures for for twenty bucks. Yeah, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. That's why I like Mattel. I mean, Masterverse figures are amazing. You know, Origins. Yeah, I got a oh man, she I found Shira Hordak Deluxe Shira forty anniversary and fortieth anniversary He Man. Oh my God, that thing is beautiful. Package, Come on, so it stays right in the packaging. I'll tell you that that's gorgeous. Yeah, really, it's 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 already posed perfectly in the box. Exactly. Well, some the heads are all in different directions. Okay, but um, it doesn't really like it. I found the one where he's just like looking up more majestic. Like that's awesome. So um. Yeah, it looks like uh, that line is is going pretty well for them. Yes, uh, and and if you want to talk about origins real quick, you posted that picture of the Mechanic and the not Road Ripper, but the Ground Ripper, the right? Ground Ripper. I don't know why they changed the name. Interesting. Thing. Was it the Ground Ripper? I think I think they called it a Ground Ripper. In, in the, the show, CGI, or something? in the CGI show, does it did it say Ground Ripper on the package? It did. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, and then somebody put in quotes Road Road Ripper. Maybe they don't own the the, the rights to Road Ripper. Maybe somebody else does or something. I don't, I don't know. know. That's odd. Yeah, it's very odd. Yeah, but that's pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, th and then there's also popping up the Sunman three pack. Yes. Uh, is the pig pigman in there also? He is. It's pigman, uh, sunman with the updated head with the flat top haircut. Nice. And uh, I think, I think it's Voltman. Is the guy? Is the other uh, hero? Cool. So it's a three pack. It comes in that, like, you know, kind of like that window box that the uh, the the uh, la, 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 the big cats came in. Yes. So it's just like that. Uh, I don't know if I'll get that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You have you have a half a sun man, right? I have I have the original. I have two of them. I have one in and out package. Nice. And I have a uh, big head, but I pulled, I popped him out. Had I known or realized that, that he was, he was in this three, yeah, he was in this three pack, I would have kept him on the card. Right. Uh, but I opened them. He's out. So uh, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see if the if it bites me, but I, like I feel like I'm kind of I don't know if you have the same feeling. I feel like I'm kind of falling out of love a little bit. It's getting harder and harder to collect in in recent times. It really is. Not to mention that I'm completing a lot of stuff. Like I I can finally say I'm done with Power Rangers. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Finish off the Ninja Rangers, yellow and red. Rocky and Aisha, whatever. You should. Yeah, I can't remember her name. I think it's Aisha. 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 Yeah, right. Um, and the rain I, intensifies. Sorry. <laughs> and I tell you, with those ones, that's where you really see where Hasbro is. Uh, I don't want to say that word. Um, they are fucking us constantly. Yeah, yeah that's true. Their, their prices have gone up. Their quality has gone down. Their choices in packaging and in accessories and in characters are poor decisions. Yeah. Hasbro is just screwing us all. And I feel like I'm, I'm, I want to be finished with them. Yeah. I don't, I don't foresee any new Star Wars stuff that I would want. There was a huge Marvel Legends like price hike. Drop. There was a, but there was a drop of future figures coming out. Oh, yeah, we could talk about PulseCon. But we'll get to that. they dropped that big news, or whether it leaked or not, and I'm not impressed with anything, so I'm good there. Power Rangers, I just finished. I'm good. Trans yeah. I wasn't a huge Transformers collector, so I'm good with what I got. I'm right. good with them, too. So I think Hasbro, I mean, with the exception of maybe a couple of rogues that might show up, um, I, I need some Spider-Man rogues. Yeah. But other than that, Sheesh, I'm done with them. Yeah, and they're overpriced garbage. Yeah, you know what? I've uh, and and one thing that you mentioned uh, to me on the phone the other day was, uh, well, you sent a picture to to Ben and I of uh, some clearance figures, yes, and, yeah. and we were talking about how I ended up paying full price for that bone breaker wave, and now they're popping up. Uh, you know what was it? Seven fifty or eleven fifty? Yeah, that's Hasbro looking at you saying, "Gotcha, bitch." Yep. 
because I didn't collect. I, I really don't collect cinematic. But uh, yesterday I found the uh, Mighty Thor, the uh, Natalie Portman Mighty Thor for seven dollars. Can't beat it. So I was like, yeah, like seriously, yeah, cannot beat that at all. So, you know, finding finding things like that at a discount. I think that's the only way I'll get. Them. That's kind of the only way I really want to get them from now on. Let Hasbro learn their lesson and get rid of twenty dollars where they're getting. Well, they're getting the suckers in the beginning, and I'm 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 guilty. Well, I am a sucker. <laughs> I buy every Mo two thing once it hits the shelf, and then all the revelations go on clearance at some point. Yeah, origins origins are harder to come by when it comes to certain characters, but like. The peg warmers for them are usually the same. The same yeah, sh- it's the same most stuff. of the bad guys. Yep. So like, and then even with Motu, I think I'm just gonna purge all my vintage, keep the cool stuff that's coming out now. Uh, maybe I'll keep like the first series, you know, series one of Motu, but everything right. else just yeah, the classic get rid of it. Because the origins are 150 times better. Oh man, the articulation alone just puts them above. And which is why these WWE superstars are awesome because they're, they're the same. same, yeah. same they're the same figures. They're I just, do love one is that WWE was the I love that they have the the, the same uh, company that it comes from. The yeah, Mattel. and it's the same gimmick. You, you can pop all the fucking all the arms and the body parts off and swap and have have a good old time. Yeah, you know, so cool. Uh, what else? What else? McFarlane's awesome. I, I gotta say that. I mean, I got the I got the Blue Beetle and Booster Gold two back. That looks great. Forty bucks. You get two seven-inch detailed figures that have accessories, stands for each other, like they're single stands, plus a joint stand, a joint stand, and the trading cards. Beautiful, you know, cover art on the back. Not that I keep that, but yeah, it's really nice. And that was forty bucks. Can't beat that. Right next to uh, fifty-two dollars for you know two uh, two two figures that look like regular people. Yeah, like Peter Parker, Peter Parker and the Dead. Dead. It's yeah. just two regular people figures, and it's just like fifty-three dollars, please. No. Yeah. No. On the spinneret, uh, renew your vows pack, Spider-Man. I mean, the Spider-Man is getting a lot of praise, man. It's a great figure. Toe articulations back. Yeah, and I also have coming to me. I, I didn't actually. I didn't send my pile of loot yet, but I have the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man coming from a Big Bad Toy Store. Nice. Yeah, everybody's loving that legend. I can't wait. I think I think those figures are nice. And the only reason why I picked up that spinner is because a friend of mine hid it for me. So I was like, ah, you hid it for me, so I may as well. Yeah. You know, I kind of screw somebody else out of it if they did, if you know somebody went looking for it and mine was the one that was hidden but you, but that's spider-man come on he's yeah. so and the spinneret is really nice too. Cool, yeah. and and if you're lucky like i was the paint jobs are beautiful good i didn't okay. have i didn't have any defects in my paint yeah i heard and upside God. down shoulders oh, on no. some of them i two, two right hands oh man yeah. i saw that on one of the Hordax, the, the new Hordax from the Masterverse, the, that sort of wrong hand on his... Ah, uh, he had like two left hands or something like that. So whack. But, and to tell you what, my Hordax, I went to go switch the arm, and it feels... I mean, I didn't use any hot water or heat anything, Yeah. but just from looks and trying, the, the shoulder joint won't turn. Um, and as I'm looking at it, I'm like, it doesn't even look like it was cut. Like, it still looks fused. Right. But I still didn't try it with hot water, so maybe that's the problem. Maybe could just, be. you know, trick of the eye. I just can't see that closely. But yeah, I could not get him to turn his shoulder, like, bend his shoulder. Damn. Um, so I just left him with the gun hand. That happened to me with a, um, a Batman Beyond. I, I think it's a direct, I don't know, it says 2018 on it. So I don't know who who was in charge of DC toys at the time. It doesn't seem One like year? it. Uh, 2018. That seems like a I direct. Think, I think right? Mattel still had it. Probably. Or well, maybe it was a. What is it? Batman. It's it's a Batman Beyond with two heads and a whole bunch of batarangs and and stuff. I've been uh, 
dipping my feet into into DCs ever since the last time we spoke. It's uh, funny. We, we kind of like swapped. I flipped. <laughs> we swapped. I'm dipping into Marvel. You're dipping into DC. Yeah. It's cool. I, st I started, uh, well, you, you, you were in this uh, Kenner superpower the McFarlane Superpower uh, revival, right? So you were getting all those, and the only one I was really into out of those that looked vintage to me was was Superman. And now that I think about it, I'm like, oh, that John Stewart's cool, and the Dark Side maybe, but I don't like the Batman. I, like that's too modern for me. Well, I, I have I have a feeling they're gonna re-release them in the regular colors. That could be cool. I have a feeling we're going to do that. They have a they have a habit of doing stuff like that. Yeah, I did because because if they got if they put them out in the original colors, they wouldn't be able to sell any of these. Right, that's the way I look at it. So yeah. let's put these out first, make it seem like this is what you're going to get, and then we'll put out the classic colors because we know you really want that. Yeah, the, I, the fandom of of those superpowers figures is vast. Uh, I joined a bunch of groups just to, um, you know, get some information and kind of figure some things out. And like, you can just, you could just tell that these people are hungry for these figures. So they're, they're, you know, going after the creators and asking questions, uh, you know, talking to Todd and, and trying to find out what's, what's on the horizons and uh, what it seems and what the, the response was is that they're not trying to do anything classic, really, specifically. A lot of the designs that they're doing they're are things that haven't been done before. Yeah, they're all up here. Which is pretty cool, because that means it's a direct add-on to the vintage. Because it's like, all right, if you want vintage, go fucking find your vintage. But if you want people that are going to scale well with your vintage that are new, you know, not making you buy, you know, things over and over again... I think it's I think it's a smart idea. It's a horse of a different color. The only one so far that's that's pretty spot on is the uh, the Flash. That you know, there's really no 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 yeah, new difference. He's a little tall though. I heard. Um, I was kissed by a rose. And, uh, he picked him up for me along with uh, the gold label McFarlane Flash, all zombified looking. Ooh. Got that as well. That's fine. Uh, so I haven't seen him in person. Actually, I did see him in person. Is that deceased? Is that that line? I the guess. Line? I, I, I don't. I'm not sure. I have a hell shelf, and he'll fit in perfectly. Oh hell yeah! So oh, very nice. All right, we just pulling up. Yeah, we're gonna put a pause on the on the on the on the pod chat. We're gonna go into where where are we heading right now? This is the we, uh, Hampton the, Inn. Yeah, and this is the uh, Woodbridge, um, the Woodbridge Toy Shows. I think it was here like two weeks ago. So yeah, well, it wasn't too big of a gap in between shows. But I was here. I didn't grab anything actually. So empty-handed trip. That's such a that's, that's never usually happening with me. Yeah. So we'll see what it is. Yeah, let's go check it out. We'll Put, be back. Stick a pin in it. Pin on it. Oh my god. Four bucks for that? Laramie? Oh my god. The MDS. I had this one with that fucking handle and the and the So you don't yeah, have the, to go like this? Yeah, you, you could, just go like this. You could turn it like that. Oh, it's so good. You could shoot your partner in the face. Yeah. Nice though. Oh my god, that is so fucking great. I gotta clean this baby up though, I tell you. I saw all the mold on the inside of the oh, tube. Oh, yep. That's gross. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, for four bucks. You can't beat that, man. I love I love colors. that handle with like the grip. I gotta find the wool to hang it on. Yeah. I still have the, the, the re-releases unopened, so. Oh, I love it. I remember this one so yeah. fondly. Love it. Kick-ass score, brother. Look at those thrift stores, man. Yeah. Oh, look, we just walk up and we see Philly Rabs. And he's got Cuphead. He's got... Yeah, we got Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph. Felix. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. my God, I love it. Dice, uh, what's... Yeah, what, uh, Mr. Dice? Yeah. And then the Chalice. Oh, my God, this is dance. great. This is for the wife. Don't spoil it, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we won't put it out. That's man. fantastic. <laughs> cool. Awesome, dude. Yeah, buddy. I was hoping we see you at one of these shows. 
Yeah. Never Enough Toys podcast. Um, is that like a real thrift store? Or it looks like, looks like a real deal thrift store. It's always fun. Hi hey there. We just uh, decided to show our faces. This is what we look like when we will, uh, we're doing our cell phone pod, 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 phone pod, phone pod. Yes. We be stroking. Do, 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 do. You, can't, you can't read the fabrics. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Chicago. Chicago. And I'm at, oh, that's, I got, I got a Batman shirt on too. Uh-huh. <laughs> like not. And I got a deal because I was wearing my kiss hoodie today. Yes. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is true. That did happen. Yeah. So, I got my deal here. This is a uh, Centurion. And, uh, for a great price with that helmet. I, I don't even remember it having the helmet when I was a kid because we lost that right away. Uh, but I do have the backpack that goes on this, so we're going to reunite it. That's pretty dope. Uh, I'm a sucker for it. It's a big figure, and it actually has cool articulation. It has like a, almost like a ball, but like not at the very top of the hip, so it's, it's still sturdy. Yeah, they have great design on these. Well, I never had any of those growing up. It was before my time. It was before my time, but I inherited them. So it was cool. So there you go. Loose and Um, What did you get at the show? Uh, we could probably do that when I pull over. True. But what, uh, were you, what were you looking for when you got to the show? I was just looking for... Uh, one thing that was in retail, one thing that is, and I can't find. I was looking for the uh, WWF Superstar Scott Hall. I was yeah. not able to find him. Uh, but I was also looking for the DC McFarlane Peacekeeper. Peacemaker. Okay. Peacemaker. Uh, the John Cena figure, but the one, the builder one that has the helmet on him. Um, and I have a bunch of like movie figures for that, so I was like, like, uh, like I had the the Rock, Black Adam figure. Right. I have you know the They Live Roddy Piper, the, the uh, Sasha Banks Oscar Reeves figure. Nice. So I was like, yeah, I should get that John Cena Peacemaker. Yeah. So, uh, I was looking for that, and I didn't find it until the very end. Yeah, we scoured. One of the guys knew, uh, heard that you were looking for it, and he didn't think he had it. But then he went to get in one of his boxes, and he ended up finding it. So uh, I ended up grabbing that uh, John Cena Peacemaker for uh, 15 bones. 15 bones for a McFarlane. Sick. Sick. Not a mint card, but still. Mint. But still, it came with parts and everything. It has all the pieces and stuff. Wow, look at this Shrek. Spotlight Theater Shrek. Cool. First Presbyterian Church. Right? You got How are you? You got some Shrek lovers. I think that's what we're doing for Halloween. Well, who are you going to be? I'm the donkey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm Eddie Murphy. In the morning, I'm gonna make waffles. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get as many of the lines down before. <laughs> that, I gotta really sell that costume because it only really works if you have the, the full gang, you know. So the rest of the band is dressing up as well. Yep, Phil's gonna be Shrek. I don't know if Jesse's gonna be Princess Fiona or if she's gonna do the dragon because the dragon and the donkey are married. Right. You gotta dress up your cats like little donkey dragons. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Great idea. And here we are for some caffeination. Get Starbucks. your caffeine. Have self respect and get Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> look, at the, look, at, look at this pull up. Player. <laughs> Good, good. Ah, the head. Was that what you want? Yeah. Was that what you need? That thing was fucking flashed it. Yeah, I, I see. Out with four flashes. Oh, really? Yeah, the two for me and you, and one for you and Paul, because I have a small one. They have the same logo. 
Well played. Our defenders of the earth. Oh shit! No, we noticed that. Flash. Oh, Flash is, I guess that's like the team logo, maybe. When you think about it, because Flash Gordon uses that. Yeah. The lightning bolt looks like in G Flash. Right. Weird. How you been, man? Good. Chilling. We've been uh, just. How was that? How was the Woodbridge? Oh, it was okay. I only bought one thing. That's good. Yeah, I'm restrained because I did so much damage. Oh, thank you, brother. Gold lades. Were we just talking about it? I know. You were just, no, that's what I saw. And then there was, like I said, there was seven on the show. Gold label Shazam. I think I'm going to have that. Is it from the movie? No. So cool enough. No, thank you. That's what happened. I think I'm done with these. I told you what, with Robin. If I can get that Robin, I'll be happy. Because uh, which Robin is it? It's not the red Robin. There is a red Robin that's out already. And I saw that too. No, it's um, it pops up on fucking on here, and, and, it's it's shit, right? and then it go no, and then like somebody's like, oh, it's up. I go check it, and it's not Let's up. Go. The fuck is it? And that's what happened with me. I think that's what happened. Oh no, I wanted to see if I could pick up that lizard rather than ship it. And you said it's oh like, yeah, it's yeah. Not. They're coming in next week. Yeah, and these are supposed to be shipping this week, I think. MCU, the Moon Knight wave. Wow, oh, cool. I saw the Moon Knight person today. Yeah, we saw it. Oh, yeah. Yes. At yeah, Don Kong. He wanted 30, 40, 40. 40. Yeah, he, 40. Yeah, he wanted like 40 and 60 for all those week, which was just so much. Yeah. How much is that Supreme uh, Cody? I think it's uh, 40. Three. Oh yeah. Forty-two ninety-nine. Maybe. Not really sure. He said that there was a difference between that one and the one that's going to be in Walmart. This one. Right. Okay. No, I haven't seen it. But that's cool. But like I said, somebody had mocked not on that one. That's the one you probably saw. But somebody, yeah. So that somebody said that, and then somebody did an edit. It's, it's the post. That's what I want. That's what I need. Oh yeah. And somebody edited. I'm like, that's what. That's it. I'll stop collecting them once he makes that. That that's the Robin. Like I have the comics still of like yeah. of that. I love Dick, but Tim Drake had the best costume. Yes, I know. Still I, do I, I, I love Dick. I love, love Dick. <laughs> I love. I just I just spent sixty bones on the DC Universe classics, uh, Dick. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which is that uh, DC classics? The the Mattel Four Horsemen. Oh, okay. I have that one as well. With the with that parted hair, because they have two. Yes. They have Jason Todd also. Was a buddy at the show? Usually one at the table with his dad. Yep. Was it like stockpiled as usual? People on the fucking. It was not. It was, it was. No, it was decent because it was raining. So yeah. like the turnout was like in dribs and drabs. Yeah. And uh, it they didn't have uh, nothing, nothing too crazy. Yeah. It was, like I said, if I would have went with him, I would have just looked to his shit because he wants those side eye figures. We haven't found them yet. Yeah, but he because he's got them all now. He's fucking. He's only missing shit from like the second wave and the third wave, which mm-hmm. are ridiculously expensive. Yeah. One of them was a Walgreens exclusive. People saw that shit for three hundred dollars. What? Wow. Some of the grocery gang stuff is too. Like, Walgreens exclusives are a fucking train wreck. Like the thought that they even yep. do that. It's These stores never have it. It's any. rough. I well, grabbed that last one, the girl, because she just happens to be sold here. I was like, oh, well, binary. It. Yeah, through the. Oh yeah. Channel. I don't even give a fuck about it. I missed that on Zemo, but I'm like, or uh, Jigsaw. I'm like, I don't care. You good. missed out on both. Yeah, but I'm. I would just hold on to them. I don't want them like for myself. So, I'm trying to restrain now. Because it's I have too much. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. And it's like we all boxed. Do. No, it's bad. It's like you you at least open most of Some them. Some of them, yeah, most of them. I bro, it's just fucking piles. I got. I ended up getting two Kangs. Oh, nice, good. Really hard to get, so I was like, I'll hold on to them. Yeah, it'll be worth it down the line. Dude, when got, that movie comes out, FX forget about it. Is now, I got fucking the Mezco Wolverine. I'm like, what am I doing with myself? <laughs> yeah. Fucking these things are just fucking piling up. It's just yeah. So you gotta. You guys want to see how bad the office has gotten? Put a cap. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. It's fucking bad. <laughs> Let me go throw this in the car. Um, I brought my recent haul. 
in the car. So, so if we're all here and we want to do a little reveal on the way out. What do you want to do? Like a video? Yeah, just do a little video. Yeah, we could. Maybe right before you leave. What are you doing with this? Knock it off. Knock it off. Knock it off. I'm trying to find one for 200. Shoot it. Yeah. I've been on the flat. Oh, God. Let me tell you. And the street fighter is going to pay 200. That's why I say it. Want to make an extra tip? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to fucking open it. Just fucking give me this. I'm trying to get it to my brother. If I see another one, I'm going to pay. Yeah, you know, you know. Ooh, wow. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah now it's it's changed. Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. Let's go, brother. Holy shit. I'm going to get the fuck on the closet. God damn, yeah, closet stacked. And this man bat that we talked about. I was like, I knew I have him somewhere. Oh, nice. fucking man. Oh, you have man bat? The yeah, big guy? I the big guys. Nice. Which X is this? Which? What do you mean? The, with the, with, I'll give it to you. He's on the, the bike. It looks like X4. It's like, yeah, it's like a dog. The dog turns into the bike. That's sick. That's He's so flimsy, though. Yeah. If you touch it, shit falls off. <laughs> yeah. It's gotten so bad in here. Like, if I have shit that I want to open. But you don't know. have the shelves for it. But you have the space for the shelves. Those are great. Yeah. You don't have the, um, or you, or you probably do, the splinter and shredder? No, those are the only ones I grabbed. Right. I, framed it. I, I just said, four turtles. I said I wanted super shredder. I never saw them in person, so I didn't bother. True. So I got the four retros behind you, and then those. But they're yeah. so heavy, I might take them off the wall, because see how they like lean. Yeah, and those hang tapes and that trunk. But that's that's complete for now, except for what's out. Oh, God. It's taking a break, too. They're gone. Yeah. They're going, they're going to boxes now. Yeah, that's, I'm done after that. I get a carnage school, but I'm not going to buy another black suit. No. For carnage. They're going to put a little bit of blue... <laughs> um, Cell shading on it, like like we we all talked about. Yeah, kink pins. You fucking were done. What'd you do? I paid a lot for that kink pin. Yeah, I still don't have that J Jonah. That's, it's funny because I got him at the Woodbridge show. I know. I remember. Yeah. I have not. Oh yeah, actually, I got another Peter recently. Dude, I got the whole, every one of these except for the Japanese Spider-Man. That's, that's the Comic-Con though? Yeah. Yeah, I have the box of the Fatherless song. I got that in the box. Do you see some of these? Yeah. Like, I, got, I try to keep the shit that not everybody sees. Like, I don't always get yeah, it. Yeah, just get it. brand new. Patrocitus, that's so awesome looking. Yeah, I wanted that versus the... The ones with the dead, the dead Batman, they didn't look good in person. It's like the dead Batman, dead Superman. Yeah, oh, deceased, like deceased, right? Yeah. The, the figures didn't look good, like on his end, so I held off. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you. There's a pile of legends. Oh no, I got Jigsaw. You got Jigsaw. Look at that. No knows you about. That's what I was missing, but not. I am. Extra Rhino. Extra Rhino. Yeah. Is he just extra because you want an extra? No, because I forgot that I pre-ordered two. You need it? Mm -hmm. How much do you want for it? Retail. You know, I'm not going to fucking... What is that? I don't know. 40. 40? Yo, you just did it. Did I just... Did I... You no, did it. Just I'm say not going to charge you for retail. I mean, you, you pay what I pay. You know? It's yours. What is it? Not for you? Look at that. So, uh, you know what you can. You know what you throw your twenty because that was. Yeah, crazy. that's fun. You know what you can do for me. I do. I do anything for you. I do anything for you. Both, both, right? You wanna, you wanna hum me melodies while you're here, so I have a fucking recording. Oh, this. I, was I mean, taking advantage. Right? Ma -ma 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 -ha 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 -ha. I told you that we don't, we don't need perfection. I need to know what the fuck you're singing. Because I look at your lyrics, I'm like, is he singing like this? I'm like. I know Richie. I have, like, to I have to remember. Did we not just talk about this as well? 
Motherfucker. Like, what were you doing? I, I, what are you doing with music lately? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing. Tell, tell them how much I harass you. Like, hey, bro, what's going on? Let's see. It, but I don't. I don't say. I don't see it as you're harassing. Oh, I do. I totally do. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I'm saying, like, I know. That's what is all this? Oh, you building on fucking man thing? Oh, he's complete. He's there. I bought it before he goes up in price. Yeah. Smart. I'm holding on to it to see if he drove. He got in there. Oh, dude, that's what that's I want to look at. All that shit I've gotten like on Twitter from friends, like Twitter friends. Crazy good prices. Nothing. Nothing is like fucking above maybe twenty five bucks. I was like, yeah, I might as well grab what I can. This is gangster. Great John Bernthal. Mm -hmm. Gotta love that John yeah, Bernthal. Man. Yeah, the only thing is that this, the Daredevil, uh, that's the guy that I bought it from, he said that he bought it. Somebody tried painting it so you could tell it was different all that. Okay. But I'm like, whatever. Oh, yeah, gotta love that. And that's cool too, the, the Punisher War Machine. Yeah. Sweet. Keeping them all? Holding on to them for now. I, yeah. I feel like I'm building inventory at this point. Right. <laughs> Like Same. again, I don't. This is this is what I have left for displaying. And now that I have this shelf, I fucking hate the shelf. Right. Because I hate ninety percent of the fucking figures on here. Right. It was like a point of like, oh, I fucking got them all. I paid nothing for the middle fucking aisle. Yeah. I paid sixty bucks for the entire fucking middle. Well, now it's got to get reworked. Yeah. But like that's. The layout is good, so I think I could just stack them. See what afraid of it. Here's yeah. Here's what you could do. Because then my problem is I wait until battle battle forms. Well, that's the other thing. Yeah, you gotta because there's room in there. And, there's a lot of room in there. And there's a lot of figures that I you might be willing to just throw in a Ziploc bag and have do something with, you know. Yeah. But it's all villains, MCU, comic, randoms, kind of G one. Mm -hmm. And then just like a lot of the bigger, newer shit. Yeah, if you got risers there, See, there, I, and there. You know what? I'm glad you fucking said that. Because I bought risers, they're too fucking big for that. Mm -hmm. Richie said you need it. That's what I went up for. Richie! I'm sorry, I forgot. I remember we talked about that too. Oh, yes, yes, those are cool. Oh, you got Namor over here, huh? He just gave him the fucking Amazon boxes all jacked up. That was an opening. <laughs> He's the only figure I'm getting from that wave, so. So this is too big for the detail? Like, it sticks off, well, it sticks off this. Detail for might fit, I didn't think about it. I was trying to do it for this, but it hangs. And my OCD just fucking won't have it. So, and Xander has one for his figures. If you want one, if you want one. How many are you? It's just one. one. So I'll keep one. You want one? You want one? Sure. I mean, this one. Big glass. Like yeah. plexiglass. If you look on his detail, you see it. Because he's got like his fingers on it. You saw it? Yeah. I'm saying you saw it on his shelf. Uh, he's got it. So you can see if it fits. Over there. Uh, these are. Um, yeah, like they should fit. They should fit. They should fit. Absolutely, they fit. So yeah, I'll use one. Maybe I'll do one for the MCU. Because I'm not going to go big inside. That'll save you a lot of space. Get rid of that that setup there. Put we'll put those. In put all the MCU in the in the case, and then put maybe the comics with the G one. He doesn't want it here. That's it. Transformers. Then you see those Transformers for like breaking pieces. Like yeah, yeah. Put the Transformers in the case because they're you you started at the top of the Transformers and go all the way through. And make this all Marvel. Yeah. So I'll make that. Make that all Marvel and put all the Transformers in that one because they they need to be protected. That's that's a good point. That's mm -hmm. mentioned some of the big ones you put on the bottom too. That make that bottom. Awesome. And then you can put boxes in that corner. <laughs> you put the big ones on the bottom to go. The other thing is that. Yeah, you can still do it. I have seen one bouncing with the castle. So I think it was a good one. But it's wrong. 
Bro, I didn't like you. Have you seen the movie Arthur? Have you seen Arthur? I don't remember it. There's a part where he tells the partner, uh, he goes, I want you to do this, that, and this, that. I want you to do that, and that. And then he walks out. He goes, Would you like me to wash your dick? One, two. He was shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got the RoboCop? Yeah, because I have the higher one on the shelf, and I'm going to probably sell it. I got it dirt cheap from somebody, but I do on the Fortnite shelf. True. So, just keeping with the record shit. I had the, the, I had the first Mac one. It was what I didn't get the need to grab this one. Oh, I definitely don't recall. They made one? I bought it in Toys R Us. That's how long. Oh. The box probably wasn't like that, right? It was the yeah, plastic. Plastic. The blister plastic. I have an oil like that. I, I got the, um, yeah. The there area. you go. Look. Is yeah. that Halloween yet? Foxy. Foxy Brown. Boxy Brown. <laughs> Boxy Brown. Yeah, Boxy Brown. Oh, well, sneak peek is some music. Dude, I got a fucking scent sitting here still in the box. Hmm? I think I got like I that microphone. Five, I still have some off. Yeah. A nice little setup. <coughs> trying, bro. Trying. Nope. Nope. Whoops. What do you do? Okay, press the wrong button. Look what I got today. What'd you get? Ouch. Oh, snap. I little get... people. E. If somebody little likes ET, e. it's you. Woo! Look at that. And Mattel's doing it right. 14 bucks. And that's yeah, wait, hold on. It's brand new. Let's stage it. It's brand new. I also got this the other day. Seven dollar oh. Mighty Thor. Jane Forster. Did they have a lot? They had like three Jane Fonda. Cool. Three or four of them. Ooh, Jane Fonda. Whipping. So uh I got you a bunch of stuff. Yeah. You got you get me this. Oh, look at this. I don't know how we're Rhino right. retro. I don't know how we're framing up there. Big Thank guys you. in the back. We got Benny Rose on the on the channel finally. Only took us twenty episodes, but we got him. We are kissed by a rose here. Woo! All right, so uh, this is for you. Okay, so you know what? Then we are actually going to stage this differently. We'll this is like straight up white here. elephant. Loving it. This bag for you, Ooh, baby. All right. Baby I think I've love. got. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff here. Holy crap! All right, so we have uh, DC McFarlane Toys Superpowers line, new for 22. That's a nice looking bat, uh, super bat man. Soup. Bat soup. Cat soup. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of uh, other ones to go. So, soup main goes in there. I'll put them up in the front for now. And then, uh, oh, look at this. This amazing Spider Man Renew Your Vows spinneret system. We All right. Right. system? We got, yeah. We got the best feet in the in Spider Man franchise. Right? Yes. Finally yeah, bending those toes. Bend your toes, knees and toes. I'm sure Spinnerette's making them bend his toes, so. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. But hers don't. Yeah. yeah. Do they? I don't know. Whatever. I don't think they, they do. Don't, right? No, they don't. Go figure. <laughs> same, thing, nice. same thing with Mattel can make uh, He Man's wrist turn so we can do the. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, Benjamin hooked me up with. Uh, Lothor. Lothor. And. Fuck. Mandrake the Magician. Mandrake the Magician. I don't know if the video can see. I have oh, yeah. no idea what that video sees, but I gotta, I gotta tell you. Um, and the best part is by the end of this, I'm gonna close my trunk and it'll and it's all be all <laughs> <laughs> We also got uh, McFarlane Go Label Dark, Dark Flash. Flash. Woo. Wow, look at that face. And to go with the Sick. trend of those superpowers. Phew, oh, Flash, hey, Mr. Baby. Flash, man. I've been waiting for that for a while, so I've been looking for it for a while. So, Benjamin, thank you so much. For of course. Yeah. yeah. All right, so. Oh, yeah, I got these for you. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this is like a very me. This is a very me. All right. Wow, this is a, a very me uh Back uh, of the car right now, the Neutrinos three pack. Oh, How about that? I wish How I about that? You didn't even want to put show, the camera. show the camera show what them. you got. 
the neutrinos and that the little uh, the baby and the little animal. Jim. I have no idea what any of that was. Yeah, so I was just lurking. I'm insane to flirt. Lurking. Sticking my sword. All right. Lurk you. And we have the pinball box set, which comes with the um, beanie, the T-shirt, that exclusive purple suited shredder, a magnet, and a keychain. Thank you so much, sir. In a large, Anytime. I believe. Yeah, so that's cool. Anytime, though. Large and in charge. All right, so we got some good stuff so far. And then the rest of it, just to close ourselves out, you still have more stuff. Oh, there. yeah. Well, I got some stuff from the Choi Show today. Yeah. So we'll go there in a second. A little swap piece today. Um, this was from St. Anne's. I want to show you guys this in a, in a minute. But let's, let's go. That was from yesterday. Today, we picked up John Stewart. So I'm, I'm bolstering here. I'm getting, getting a couple of DC figures. The trend is going on for me. Yeah, we switched roles. It's all right. You'll end up with McFarlane's like me. No, no man. I'm not, I'm not Nobody wants to see my closet. Trust yeah. Me. And then we also have from McFarlane, Dark Side. Gotta love it. And uh, ten bucks for a huge figure. That's that's pretty awesome. Not quite as big as the Rhino, though. That's what she said. And, and so. You gave me this. Thank you, sir. I gave you him an empty box swap. for those. He gave me an empty box. What does everybody want? Head from controller. What does anybody need? Head from controller. Not everybody needs this, but I do. But I needed a Ghost Rider head. I guess who came into the clutch? This guy. <laughs> Thank you for that again. You're welcome, brother. All right, so. Well, now, I'm believe now, 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 now nobody's excited so. about Robbie Reynolds, so I'm glad I got my proper Ghost Rider. Yeah, there, there you go. go. I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? <laughs> $350. The amazing Batman has made its way into Damn. our collection. But he's got a bag man with me. Yikes. What are you? Get oh, yeah. Oh. Two bag Two bag All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> no, come back. Hey, you want him? I don't need him. <laughs> you buy him. <laughs> Why are you always lying? lying. Stop your lying. <laughs> That's oh the, my God. That's the song for my son. <laughs> yeah, right, I heard him listen to it once and then I said it. Right, we're God. almost done. <laughs> so these, I didn't even open them yet, but these are the um, Doc Ock and Silk two packs yeah. from Amazon. Yeah, wait. So if you want to help me do the honors here, you're part 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 part. my car is farting. I can shred this. Part two. Two brown stains. There you go. You want to do it again? Really the box. Yeah. Well, it's a shipper. What are you going to do? Brown shipper. We'll keep this shipper also. Brown shitter. Yeah, open this shipper too. Same while way, you're right? fucking at it. Yeah, yeah, two of them. Why are you opening them both? Because uh, I'm going to eventually get uh, one myself. So, might as well open them. So there's that one. That doesn't answer my question. Why are you opening both of them? Well, because one Doc Ock is for you. <gasps> Sweetie oh, pie. You I, will, I will keep the silk happily. Uh, and the other Doc Ock is for the beanie. Do you have, you have Doc Ock? Probably I don't have that box. I guess. You, have, you have this box set, right? So there we go. We got two silk box sets from Amazon. I made sure to get those in. Plastic Super free. Nice. Plastic free. <laughs> As blow, thanks. Yeah, so that means we really have to open them to see, you know, paint jobs and this yeah. and that and the third. Richie's so, so yeah, that's just. Uh, All right, get your shit out of my car now. Almost. <laughs> we got one, uh, one more box and a bag. Oh, let's see what we got. I got. I also got from the show. We got Peacemaker. Oh, oh nice. God. Got uh, the build a wave version with the with the helmet. I just wanted a John Cena actor figure. I didn't want to get the Fast and the Furious because that thing was stupid. Yeah. So you got that on the tail end there. That was great. All right. So we got one more box and then that's it. So this goes along with what Ben um, was was uh, helping me with in the controller wave. We have U.S. Agent. U.S. agent, here he is. It's U.S., not U.S. U.S. agent. There you go. There you go. Got the head. You got the 
on there. And then we have also speed balls in here. So we got the body. We got the body speed ball with that nice sticker on the front. This is how they do you nowadays. That's how they do you. They put I found this at the on. show. It's a WWF Attitude Racing Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, yeah, he pretty much hijacked Santa, ran over his reindeer, and he's and it's like in a nice plastic protective case. All that. Check it out. Yeah, it's so cool. Look at that hard butt. What? What? It's like the Hess truck. Uh, what? Hot. Yeah, Ho, 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 what? My neighbor's going to set up for us. Who's following and hollering and huffing? And, and GameStop on clearance, half off and a $5 coupon. So this was 5 bucks just to get that build a piece for the watcher. And that's it on the Legends, kids. Yeah, I, mean, I just got a, just a couple of things from, the, from, the, from the, sh the toy show, a couple of loose things here. I didn't get much. I got this... Uh, uh, Lawyer Subjects, He Man. Nice. nice. Um, I believe this is like maybe Kid Robot or Lawyer Subjects, one of them. But it's That's like so uh, cool that it attaches to the back. It does there. attach to the back, like in the movie where he like comes out of the back. Comes, he goes through him. You know, like how he. Yeah. Yeah. Along with the, uh, one of those wine packs? I, it might have been, yeah. Boxes, yeah. And got I got this uh, dino. dino. It's original. And uh, this cool little. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters pin, pin, Zool, Zool. So yeah, that's all right. What I got from the show. I'm sure Mr. Boat will appreciate those. Last but not finally. Oh wait, I didn't even. I oh, forget. Yeah, you did. I forget. First time I've ever seen him in the wild. First time I've ever held him in my hands. Masters of the Universe squeeze. Uh, I never had this. And I've never actually seen it in person, and then this guy had it, and I grabbed it. And he sold it to me, so. There you go, brother. I've seen that before. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. Squeeze, that's man. Right, that's cool. retro? That's retro. retro. That's, um, vintage, yeah. Isn't yeah. that dope? Yeah. And it's really good condition. But how right? beautiful is he? He just doesn't have his weapon, which is on his weapon. That's so cool. <laughs> how cool is that? So top-heavy. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. Um, All right. right. My final thing, my the only thing I got at the show today. You said you got all that from the show today, but this was actually the only thing I got today. The centurion with a helmet. Oh. I have the backpack at home, so I'm gonna just link it up, and it's even that more complete. So mm -hmm. and those are very hard to come by. Yeah, especially it's in decent condition. All right, so final, final, final toy haul of the week. We have this bag here from Saint Anne's in Staten Island. I went there, and I, none of them have seen this. Local church. Yes. So they were doing, like, a fundraiser, so I found some cool things. I thought you might like. Look at that wow. surfer. That's, no so nice. That's super back metal. Oh, it's awesome. Beautiful freaking silver surfer. 90s. Okay. All right. A yeah. couple of the wheels. No. Oh, I don't know. No, there's wheels definitely on the bottom. Yeah, right? No, no wheels. Oh, no. It's flat. Does it come apart? It looks like it's in two, right? I think it it's may. A screw. That's cool. Oh, you can see, like, through it. Like, yeah. It's like two boards and a platform in between, so. That's interesting. Pretty well. Yeah. All right. A little uh, Dark Stalkers Morgan. The anime. Ooh, like, oh, something in church? Yeah. I know that's why I bought it. I was like, uh, Look at I, can't, the boobs on that. I can't let a, a kid see that. I need to help help the kids not <laughs> oh, see these things. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Michael Jordan and on the bow starting, starting line. Nice save. I got them ball handling skills. <laughs> and he's, and he's, uh, he sure does. <laughs> He's got big beside ball finder. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, classic 90s um, yellow suit. They, all these figures were immaculate and from the same lady. They're all labeled the same. Oh, my goodness. Like, uh, I even got the gun to go with it. It's at the bottom here. The pupes. And let me know all this stuff on you. Each, each single figure is five each. Five each. So the deals are out there, people. You just That's have to be green. looking. You have to be in the right place at the right time. All right. So here's where my, my biggest, biggest, biggest deals have done. Because you see, 
It's marvelly heavy, and you know, you know, turn a little turtles in there. Marvelously, marvelously. But the DC is peeking out, at, and you know, it's starting to like, it's starting to make its way into my my yeah. psyche. So uh, I've been looking at these superpowers, and I have a vintage superpowers collection at home. So when I go to the show and I see, like, literally, like the gems of gems, I let one slip through the cracks. But we'll talk about that in a minute. But immediately, I see this. With the cape, blue and gray. DC Super Bad Man. 84 on the leg. She wrote 90s on it, whatever. 50 bucks. Oh, five. five bucks. Yeah, but 50 bucks is exactly how much he goes for. Wow. Exactly how much he goes for in that condition. Ready? Penguin. With the... With the, the umbrella. Umbrella! See, I have a DC Classic version of that. Okay. Oh, nice. All right, and the last two. Hal with his power battery. 84, vintage. Good thing you got that John Stewart now. I know. It's like, great together. they're going to go great together. And one final. It's the all black. Uh, Keaton, Michael Keaton, and the, and the arms are spring loaded, so he can go into his bat wing pose. And, and this one is like one that has the cape on it, and the logo's clean. It's immaculate, just so cool. Uh, the only version of this one I had was the one that had the um, the chest that comes off and the hat. Right. Yes. Which is my favorite. Yeah. That's it's a classic. Wow. I had that one and I had the one with the retractable belt. And if you if you knew, there's yeah, also the a version of the Batman that doesn't have um, Michael Keaton's lips. Oh, okay. There's also a version where they made it not look like him. Interesting. Right. So, yeah. But this one definitely has his lips. <laughs> I'm Batman. Running nuts! <laughs> All right, so there we go. This thus concludes our presentation. Um, we're going to get a little close-up shot of all this mayhem. Super awesome. Look at this trunk. Nice of... trunk you got there, Benjamin. I know. It's never been this full. That's what she said. <laughs> I guess. Don't get sued. Yep, that's a pretty sweet hole. I say we did pretty good for ourselves. I say... Oh, Never yeah. enough choice podcast. Uh, this is just the insanity of one month. Huh. Well, actually, two months. It looks like one day. <laughs> just saying. All right. Signing off from Ben and Rich Wait. and Grizz. Never enough choice podcast. Always a pleasure. We'll see you next time. We got the goods. We got the goods. Right. It has the juice. On the road again. Just can't wait to get back on there. Road again. Oh yeah. All right. So we are back. Uh, we're heading. We headed over the bridge. We're heading back to our homes to uh, lay claim to all the booty holes that you saw, and uh, oh, just, just it was a great day. A great day. A long Got to, day though. Yeah, it was a long day. It's almost three o'clock. Oh. We've been out since what nine? Yep. Well, I, I left my house that night. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> and now you gotta go home and do stuff. Now I gotta do all the house stuff. Yeah. Do the dishes, fold the laundry, make sure the house is tidy for the wife to get home from work. It's all worth it. Actually, she's probably gonna beat me home. Well, but uh, yeah, today was a great day. Uh, great day in toys. Finishing off those those collections. Like Absolutely. You said uh, you're finishing off your defenders of uh, defenders of the earth. Are, uh, I'm finished. I got the Lothar and the and the uh, Mandrake the Magician. I'm good. That's it. There's no more. There was never any other characters. There's. I'm good. Yeah. Uh, I finished off of what's left uh, of what I wanted from the superpowers with that flesh. 
Okay, I'm skipping on the Supermobile and, uh, and the uh, Batman who laughs because I just uh, Superman can fly. You don't need a ship. And uh, Batman who laughs. I don't. I don't. Too new for you. Yeah, I just don't. Uh, not into the source material. Yeah. No, it's just I don't think it fits. Yeah. It doesn't fit in the line for my collection, at least. Right. But for you or anyone else, well, power to go get them. They're out there. Yeah, they are out there. I picked up... We stopped at that Walmart, too. Yeah, we stopped at that Walmart, and I picked up Jon Stewart, Dark Side. Solid. That was great. I picked up the uh, Little Tykes, Little People E.T. set. Yeah, that's right. 40th anniversary. And, yes, and I found uh, Benny Rose, that gold label Shazam. Yeah. Farland, so... It was a whole. It was a shelf of seven of them. So gold labels are out there. You know, go find them. Yeah, it was a it was a great day. We didn't find a lot of the things where we were looking for them. Right. There's still a few things out there that still need that uh, superstar Scott Hall. Superstar Scott Hall for you. I'll take an archive C3PO. Call it a day. I'll keep an eye out for you, but I've seen that around. Alright. Still raining, it's still crappy out. Yeah, it's been pissing all day. Oof. But we are uh, very much along for the the ride. We weather the we weather the storm no matter any weather. We stick together. It gets better. <laughs> <laughs> any better. Uh, yeah. Never wetter. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, man, and you got to do some vocals. That was an impromptu, uh, we had an impromptu recording session. That absolutely <laughs> did happen. <laughs> a little Neon Arcadia pre-production. Yeah, just uh, floating around ideas. Yeah, I, I think they sounded pretty cool, man. Thank you. You guys are on to stuff. And, uh... Anything else? Anything you're looking forward to in the in the toy? I like I I did, I got my order in for the the uh, Origins Wondar. Oh, so, nice, good. Um, hopefully, be able to see that next year because I think it's due July of next year. Oh something wow! Like that. So uh, looking forward to that. So yeah, that's a ways away. Yeah, I feel like what's been over a year and a ways away is. The loot crates. I still haven't gotten any notice on the Armagon from the arcade box. Oh, man. I had just gotten my shipping con confirmation for my Super Don. <sighs> which comes after Armagon. I don't know now. why I didn't go for the Super Don. I don't kept know why. The classic. That was the only one I did go for. I kept it with like only new characters if if it was something. So the first new. one was Danny, right? Mm -hmm. The second one was what? The Crab Shredder. Right. And then the third was Armagon. Mm -hmm. And then this is the fourth. Mm -hmm. And if you bought all five, you got that scrag. scrag. Which I don't know why I didn't do. Oh, yeah. Not driving through green lights. Mm -hmm. It's helpful. Um, yeah, but, so you're you're getting shipments and I'm still waiting. <laughs> I also have a big bed toy store. I loot. loot. It's getting higher and higher. I'm waiting. Uh, Diamond Select last Ronin got postponed. Postponed indefinitely. I would call that being put on ice. Yeah. Uh, At a higher price point, they even right. said. Right, that's yeah. what it said. It said it was gonna, it was, it wasn't gonna be produced, and that it, <clears throat> it wasn't gonna be produced until the future, and at a higher price point. Mm. So hopefully they like, hopefully they don't change it too much and just add it to make it better. Maybe they're trying to compete with that third party one and add the ghostly brothers. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, that one is. I would pay a little real for that. But maybe, uh, but then they also maybe they're going in the path of Hasbro and raising all their prices to begin with because it was only sixty bucks. I gotta put in an order I for mean, that. Some of the, some of the Diamond Select Marvels are worth way 
more than what they charge for them. Yeah, McFarlane. yeah. That guy is... We were just in that GameStop. McFarlane's got that that clown figure from from Spawn. Thirty five bucks, and how he's loaded. How does he do it? And he's loaded how with stuff. How does Todd McFarlane do it? I don't understand. And Hasbro and Mattel and everybody else are raising up all their prices. Neck is still kind of. So uh, there are they were they raised a little on, bit, but they were already in a higher price point. But but they didn't but they're still price. ultimate stuff. <laughs> at twenty at twenty five dollars, you know, if you, if a two pack is fifty five dollars or sixty dollars, that's twenty twenty averaging twenty five or thirty dollars per figure in the box, depending on the size, it could be worth it. And that's way better than a Marvel Legend, right? So it's wild. It is wild. Even with Mythic Legions, like they're when when they put their like sales up. You get them at their price point, twenty five dollars a figure, man. It's like, right, and that's those, how it should those be. get. You get so much, and it's such a unique figure. <clears throat> I have a few of them. Yeah, I have a goblin. I got a skeleton knight guy. Sir Gerard. I got Sir Gerard, and I have uh, Krampus. And they just came out with that uh, headless horseman. Oh my god, really? horseman. With the uh, headless Harshman, the flaming pumpkin head, really yeah, awesome. I, I really like that. Eighty bucks? No, the guy said after shipping he was a buck fifty. Oh, all right. With the horse, one thirty. All right, it came with the horse. Yeah, exactly. yes. So I mean, listen, I think it's not worth it if you collect it. I do. I saw that and I was like, quality, I love the quality that. of it, the uniqueness, the, the the craftsmanship that goes into sculpting them, the painting them. It's that they're told Chef's for Kiss them. Four Horsemen Studios. That's right. Yeah, man. But um, I'm just uh, I'm just happy with what I got, and I'm I'm gonna have to slow down. My wife wants to start a family. Yeah, slowing down is, is, is definitely in our cards. And after seeing what was available at PulseCon, that really kind of took it in that direction, too. You said you're not really interested in a lot of the things that were offered. 95% of it. It's yeah, like it's Transformers, G, um, G.I. Joe, um, <laughs> Magic the Gathering. There was um, Indiana Jones, Star Wars, Marvel. And uh, Indiana Jones is intriguing, but right. I have the one figure that I will that the one I got from Disney World. And you're content? Yes. So I that's am. good. I'm good. And if I can ever, if I, if I was to ever, I'd rather when it comes to the vintage style that they're also releasing. I don't know, maybe because you know what? I actually I forgot to even mention it because it's, it happened a while ago, and it just. I got it and stuck it. I put it on my wall and just totally kind of forgot about it. Playmates re release are re releasing the Star Trek figures. What? And you have like a couple of different series. One's like Next Generation, one is the classic series. So you're getting Picard, you're getting uh, uh, Spock, you're getting, you know, uh, Kirk. And I found Khan. Okay. In, in Target. Uh, Whoa! Thirteen bucks. Playmates. Playmates. Pretty much. Uh, They'll be in updated, all those like updated versions of the the retro ones. Yeah. They'll be in the entertainment shops. Like Newberry will have it. Yeah, they were. I found them in the uh, like the entertainment section. Yeah, they weren't like on the toys. But Target, Walmart, any place but that has a bucks, I it was I don't have a con figure. I, I have all the other vintage ones, so I I can stop now. <laughs> you say that I can stop now. So, but when it comes to um, Indiana Jones, I'd rather find the vintage one rather than the uh, the retro parted one. You know what I mean, if they're gonna keep putting them out in in just boxes, I don't know. So weird. That's right. Also, aesthetically, windowless. windowless. So, I don't think I don't think that that's what toy collectors want. I don't understand. But I think that might be selfish on our parts. But then they at least pass the savings on, like the 
Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man, that whole series was up in the, you know, high 30s about. Yeah. Well, it was like, 20, you know. Fantastic spectacular fantasy. Yeah, you're paying almost thirty dollars for a figure, and it's and it, and it doesn't have the window, so you're not passing on any savings to the consumer by by doing what's right. Okay. Saving money with the flash, you're saving you're buying. Right. Yeah, whatever. They're just toys, people. And you can you have the power to buy them or not buy them. Yeah. And, well, uh, when they stop control. being cool. Well, I mean, they are continuing, though, some of the uh, the retro card backs. And some of the ones I put in pre-orders for were announced. So I'm excited for um, three of the six retro-carded X-Men classics that they announced. Okay. So they announced that they're doing the blue and yellow suits, the... Um, X Men 275 cover where they all have the same suits. Um, they're do so they announced Storm, and they also announced Banshee, but they they don't they didn't announce you know some of the other characters like Jubilee. Um, I believe um, there's a, a few others on the other side of that team that are going to be released uh, per the leak from this guy Rectangular. Got some inside news, and so these are that these out. Are the retro card backs with the plastic bubble. Yes, not safe, not plastic there. Right, gotcha. So okay. you're you're keeping it there. They have clamshells that the, they just press them to the side. It's like a paper system. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that so with the six that were announced were Wolverine. Got to announce a Wolverine. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's just uh, a rehash of what just came out. Well, Paul Harding is the the face sculptor and and, and head sculptor for for them for years. And there's a side by side picture of the new one versus the one that he actually came out with the first time. Yeah. And it's night and day. Yeah, it's clear difference. It's so amazing. Um, which is really cool. I didn't pre-order it, but it's really cool. I'm a huge Wolverine fan. Love him in every costume. He's one of the most, you know, well dressed of 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 all. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. So uh, he was announced. Multiple man announced, but in the green costume. See, that's cool. I don't really need it, and it's sold out. So I'm not going to worry about it. All right. The other was Longshot, who was apparently locked in the Mojo box, but now they're they're doing a um, a Shining Eye version on the retro card back, so you get get a chance to get a long shot. People were right about them bringing him back, um, and then the other three were all villains. So they're doing the, the, you know, orange to purple. And they, the three villains that were announced, I literally screamed in the bathroom when I, when I was watching this on my phone. <laughs> and it's just like, is everything all right in there? Ah! Ah! My ass. Ah! They literally announced, uh, announced Dark Phoenix first. I, I just, a figure that was going f in the box set like for 200 Toys R Us exclusive is now back at retail. Yeah. I screamed. Yeah. I screamed. Yeah. 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 So that was a must have and, and was I announced. Mine? I don't understand. You have just Phoenix. I have the Dark Phoenix. The green. Do you? Yeah. Oh, no, no, that's not. Oh, oh, the red one. Dark Phoenix is red. Right, right, right. Red Rocket. Yum. <laughs> so, yeah, Red Phoenix. Yeah, uh, lots to look forward to when it comes to Marvel. There's two more. Spiral right. with the six arms. Right. Classic Coda uh, Children of the Atom story. 
Phillips uh, with Spiral. Got to have her. She was $100 on the aftermarket or more, $150. Um, and the third one, which we didn't have at all in Legends, is Avalanche from oh, the X Men. He looked cool. He looks pretty cool. He He's like a peacemaker. Like peacemaker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you said it. Yep, absolutely. That's hilarious. But, um, all right, we just got to our, our crib. So at this point, we're going to cease the, uh, the the audio and, and get all this stuff into safety. This is Grizz Diz. I'm Rich Rampage. And we are signing off Never Enough Toys Podcast. Be sure to follow us here on Facebook and on Instagram, Never Enough Toys Podcast. And uh, follow me on TikTok, Rich underscore Rampage. Yeah, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Late. Woo! Cheers.